Rex in Fort Lauderdale, Florida writes to me and he says, I have a vintage Harman Kardon receiver that served me well through my teenage years. I'm an old fart now, he says. <laughs> me too, Rex. One of the uh, things I really got into at the time was the Harman Kardon's uh, assertion that their equipment could produce an undistorted square wave. My understanding of square waves is that they reveal almost any imperfection in the signal path phase distortion, noise, uneven frequency response, uh, those and more. What is your opinion on square waves? Well, first off, we don't listen to square waves. We listen to modified sine waves. But square waves are a critical design tool in amplifier design. I, I, when I design, or when I used to design, I don't do it anymore. I kind of miss doing that, actually. I got all these young hot rods like Darren Myers and Chris and Bob Stadther. Well, he ain't young anymore. And they're doing all the, the fun design stuff. I get to be CEO. <sighs> Woo-woo. Um, anyway, don't get me going. I got into this because I love designing stuff. But... Uh, they all use and I use square waves to tell how an amplifier is responding. So, and squ a square wave is a combination of sine waves from high, high sine waves, high frequency sine waves to low frequency sine waves, whatever the fundamental of the square wave is. So it's, and they're all pretty much odd harmonics. So third, fifth, what is it, seventh, ninth. Um, and you just, it, it's just got all these sine waves and together they make up this square wave. And if you can, a square wave is literally a square wave. It goes from zero up to some point, straight across and over. But it almost never looks like that in an amplifier. So a square wave will tell you a lot. For example, if you have a amplifier you're designing, with, oh, a lot of feedback to it, or with um, uh, any number of things going on that from a sine wave standpoint looks really good. You put sine waves in, you get low distortion, everything's good, frequency response. You put a square wave in, what do you see? All of a sudden, ringing. You might see a huge and big overshoot at the very beginning of the square wave and then straight through and then maybe some ripples and the square wave looks like dog do. Aha! Now you know that despite the fact sine waves, and we listen to sine waves, are low distortion, full frequency response, there's something else going on in that amplifier that really needs to be addressed. Or the opposite. You might find an amplifier with low slew rate or with uh, not such great um, open loop frequency response to be kind of rolled off to where the square wave ain't so square anymore or it's rippled on that. Any number of things can be told with a square wave. So when you buy an amplifier, if you have a chance to talk to the designer or to find out something about that design, absolutely. Uh, find out about its square wave response. We should probably publish our square wave response. Oh, the reason we don't is most people wouldn't have a frickin' clue what's going on. <laughs> they go, I don't do square waves. But anyway, they are really important. So thanks for the question. I hope that helped. I'll talk to you later.